<clears throat> this is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Well, two of them, really. Brothers, Phil's eight and Ben's ten. The trouble started when their Uncle Harry came for a visit. Phil and Ben's dad told them, Whatever you do, don't laugh at Uncle Harry's toupee. <laughs> That's like saying, don't stare at the wart on that lady's nose. So when Uncle Harry showed up, the boys tried to look at his big fat belly or his smelly cigar or whatever. Anything but that extra hunk of hair. But the toupee was hard not to stare at. It looked like a dead squirrel. Now, Uncle Harry was one of those uncles who doesn't come around much, and all he remembers is his nephews from when they were babies. You know, he tells stupid baby jokes, and if you don't laugh, he tickles you till you laugh so hard, the milk you just swallowed shoots out your nose. Uncle Harry even remembered the time he changed Phil's diaper like it was some major event. Oh yeah, Uncle Harry, along with all the great things he believed he was, thought he was an animal expert. He tried to teach Romeo, that's the family dog, how to stand up and beg for a treat. Romeo thought a family dog should not have to beg, so he ran out his doggy door. Uncle Harry said Romeo was too dumb to learn tricks and turned his attention to Juliet the cat. Well, cats are not stupid when it comes to big old blowhards. She saw that gleam in Uncle Harry's eye and bailed right out after Romeo. By then, Uncle Harry wore himself out, being so amusing, and decided to take a nap. Now, Romeo was as annoyed with Uncle Harry as anyone. And since the dog was not a relative of Harry, he didn't have to be nice to him. So while Harry was napping, Romeo jumped in the window and stole Uncle Harry's toupee. Luckily, Phil looked out the window in time to see Romeo take off down the street. He got Ben and the boys chased after the dog. Romeo looked kind of silly, running down the street with this limp piece of black fur hanging out of his mouth, like he was some kind of hunting dog who just caught something. The chase went on across backyards, through parking lots, and even into the park where Romeo tried to hide behind a tree. But another dog, a much bigger dog, wanted the tree for his own personal use. So Romeo was off and running. He took a sharp left and scooted into Mrs. Fiorello's backyard. The boys ran past the house, but then realized Romeo must have pulled that old trick of his. Anyway, when the boys got to the Fiorello's backyard, there was Romeo, wagging his little tail, proud as could be, sitting on a mound of dirt. Hmm. They knew right away it was the toupee's grave Romeo was sitting on. Much to Romeo's disappointment, Phil and Ben dug up the ratty hunk of fake hair. It was even rattier coming out of the ground than it was going in. It seems that Mrs. Fiorello had done some natural fertilizing of her lawn. Natural. Like it really stunk awful. When the boys got back to the house, Uncle Harry was still snoring away. Phil and Ben tried to wash the toupee by hand. But to do that, they would have to touch all that yucky fertilizer still stuck to it. Yuck! So they tossed it in the washing machine. And Phil and Ben don't know about delicate cycles and permanent press settings. So after the machine pounding and an hour in the dryer, that toupee was nothing but a naked piece of tumble dried hairnet. Dinner! Their dad announced. Phil and Ben had to think of something quick. And they did. When they all sat down to dinner, there was Uncle Harry, looking as good as Uncle Harry could look, complete with all his fake hair. Like he didn't have a clue his toupee had gone through an obstacle course. And everybody was once again forcing themselves to laugh at his bad jokes. So Harry was pretty happy. That is, until the boy's mom came out with the main course, a beautiful fake salmon. That's when Juliet leaped off Uncle Harry's head, grabbed a hunk of salmon, and dove out the doggy door. That was a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Actually, two friends, Phil and Ben, who changed their Uncle Harry's life forever. He became a star, kind of, when he got the lead part in the Community House production of The King and I. <laughs>